Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have another quick tip video. Now right next to me we have a radiator and we just got through finishing a radiator replacement on a vehicle and this car did have uh, these worm gear style clamps that were keeping the radiator attached. If you guys have seen these before, they have a little eight millimeter head and basically you can change them down to very, very small sizes or bigger sizes. These are very, very common. Uh, they're readily available everywhere now. These are not incorrect to use on radiators. You are able to use them if you know how to use them and you don't really uh, get too crazy with them. Now, what tends to happen on these a lot is here we have our lower radiator hose attachment on our radiator. And you guys can see this thing is made out of plastic. Now, these have quite a bit of torque on them, especially if you're using an impact gun, guys, when you're tightening them. And you want to be very careful. So I'm going to show you an example of what happens when you're not careful and how these can damage your radiator. And then I'll show you an example of how to properly use them. So let me go and get you guys set up closer to this radiator and I'll show you guys how to do this. Now that I have you guys positioned on the radiator, what I'd like to do, at least the way that I say is proper for me, I do use my impact gun. Now I have this on my setting number one, guys. You don't want to have this on a high torque setting. And the only reason why I'm using my impact gun is just because I do have a good feel for it. And sometimes these clamps can be way oversized and you want to be able to run them down real quick. So what I do is I will just slowly run them. Now, once I feel some resistance from my gun, but this is still loose, I normally stop. And then what I do is I will take my quarter inch ratchet. And what you want to do is you're going to want to tighten it. But right when you feel it's getting really stiff, you want to stop. And that's all these require and you can see it's on there really really tight now when you have the holes on there it's very difficult to tell because the holes will have a tendency to kind of smush down but it's all in the feel of this once you feel this thing giving you resistance you only go about a quarter of a turn and they should be nice and tight i'm sure you guys have installed these before and everyone has their own way of doing it but this is just how i do it now the reason why you want to be careful with these now as long as you use you know a ratchet and if you do use a gun just be careful guys you guys can see there's proper ways to do things and wrong ways to do things all right guys so now that i showed you guys how to properly tighten it let's show you how to unproperly tighten this and this is where the damage can occur now we already torqued this up uh, tight you guys saw in the last clip we got it nice and right now we're going to do it nice and wrong so with the same exact tool the only difference is i uh, swapped out for a short socket and my extension just to kind of space myself from here uh, this is on my oil cart so it's kind of wobbly so i'm gonna have to hold it down so imagine this is on the car and you're just cranking away guys uh, kind of like no tomorrow and you'll see that kind of gave out right there um, what i just did when it popped is i just cracked the plastic now it's very very hard to tell and you can't really see in here but i can feel the ridge so right there, we just damaged our radiator. And if this was a brand new radiator and you had to go ahead and, you know, put it in the car, guess what you're doing now? You're ripping it back apart and replacing it. And most parts stores will not warranty this because uh, they know you did it, you know, on purpose or accident or, you know, whatever the case is. They know it's not their fault. So that's what happens on them. Uh, now, this is just with the actual hand ratchet. Now, same thing applies to the gun, except the gun is much easier to break it because if you just take your gun and you just were to crank this down like this, what will happen is you'll crack the plastic just like this ratchet did. So I just want to reiterate and stress that it's very, very easy to break your radiator when you use these style clamps, guys. Just use them properly. Make sure you torque them by hand. Uh, don't go crazy with them. Even though you see me using my impact gun, it was set on the lowest setting, and I'm very, very careful. I use my tools every day so I know how much throttle I'm applying to them. If you're a beginner and you haven't done it before, I would say stick to the ratchet. And mainly a quarter inch ratchet, guys. Can't stress that enough. Quarter inch is all you need for this. You don't need a 3 8 If you use a 3 8 you can easily break this neck a lot faster than I did with the quarter inch. If you guys noticed with the quarter inch, I did kind of have to struggle a little bit as I was tightening it because it kind of prevents you from over tightening it. But if you weren't paying attention, you can ultimately damage it with any tool realistically because you got... A nice metal clamp on a plastic fixture so whatever gives out first is what's gonna break and typically the plastic loses every single time so that's why I wanted to make this video to show you guys proper uh, clamp installation so with that said guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe it definitely helps my channel grow and I'll catch you guys on the next repair until then hope you guys have a wonderful day